Hello and welcome to EFE News. We bring to you all the latest happenings and celebrities visiting at the Film Fest. Top happenings at EFE. Open forum discussed on emerging technologies at the Inox courtyard on Tuesday. Young filmmakers share their experience on this platform. Prajot Pednika reports. The world of technology is in a state of constant flux and is the only thing constant in the world. Now, how do emerging filmmakers and filmmakers grapple with these challenges? How to move forward? As a filmmaker or as an artist, what we are trying to do is express ourselves, tell our stories. And um, the technology comes in uh, pretty late in the picture because when you are sitting down on a table writing and trying to imagine things, uh, your problems are pretty much... Uh, uh, that of an artist, your concerns are that of an artist and not so much of a filmmaker. It's only when the practical side of the filmmaking comes into play. The technology is important. Uh, we as uh, shooting filmmakers and as independent filmmakers try to take advantage of it because now the costs are coming down because of the technology. But uh, more or less I would suppose that technology enables us. It doesn't become the be all and end all of what we do. I mean, I'm basically a technician, so uh, any advancement in technology is something which I look for and uh, always try to use it. And it actually makes your work easier. I mean, the advancement it actually makes your work easier so that, you know, uh, it actually takes less, less time also to, to carry out with your work. Because as far as music is concerned, I mean, earlier there was, you know, live recordings and later came the synthesizers and later came the MIDI technology. So it's like uh, with a MIDI controller and a laptop, I mean, people can make music and songs. You face a lot of difficulties in this to uh, go into the new technology or uh, in digital. Shooting a film in a digital, maybe people are saying it's easy, but it's not easy. Like the same, same effort you have to put in, in digital also. It's nothing, it's just format has been changed. That's it, not, not more than that. So this film still, uh, everything carries the same efforts and... I am a director and I feel very comfortable with my uh, digital technology uh, because it is easier uh, in, the, in terms of workflow. Every time uh, we have a certain way of doing something and you know, uh, after a while we feel that it starts limiting and that is when new, new ways of going about it come around and that's what new media has done. It has brought forth a new way of making, distributing, promoting films, which was not that easy for at least filmmakers, budding filmmakers like us. So it has given us a new platform. But I would al also like to say that, you know, having a digital camera, having been able to shoot from the mobile also, does not make everybody a filmmaker. Because of technology, today we cannot um, like uh, everyone is making film because of technology and that is what differentiates you know the as such you say of the film industry and the young filmmakers because celluloid gear actually trains you in a manner it's a discipline it's a discipline of making that film it's a long process though but digital format has given you uh, it, it, it can be made in lesser time it's it's more easy and uh, we young filmmakers are able to do so many things with it. But I think um, these two cannot be compared or merged at, at any point because these are two disciplines. These are two completely different disciplines and which is actually um, a plus point if we know both of it. This kind of uh, YouTube and all this platform is actually giving us an opportunity, the first break you can say that to bring our work and show, showcase to people, even if it is a, limited to a very small audience. But I think this is what gives us a hope. I think this is what gives us a hope to make it big one day. Maybe some producer, maybe some someone uh, to, like, would like to call us on and he would like us wor uh, our work. So I think this is just a platform and it should be used as a platform, not for a long time actually. <laughs> Question for the day is a special segment where we ask the delegates and guests present at EFI 2012 their opinion on a particular topic related to the film festival and Goa. 
The latest question we put forward was, what defines the International Film Festival of India for you? Is it the glamour aspect or the film content? Here is what some of the delegates and guests had to say to our reporters Rohit Watkar and Prajot Pednekar. First of all, the content, the movies, all they have, uh, what to say, they have put the hard work, show their movies. Then comes the glamour. That's the apart from that, main category is the movies. I feel like, uh, when answering your question, I feel both it has to be balanced. Uh, glamour is also required as well as movies, the quality also. Because as uh, we are coming from the Media Arts and Science College, we feel like our students get a lot of exposure. Watching movies also, they get some ideas. Uh, and also, we meet, we have, they get the ground to meet a lot of celebrities, we get introduced. And it, it, uh, it opens up for uh, the students to get into. So both the ways it has to be balanced, then only uh, it will give a success, I feel. I would say it is because of the movies, because as media students, we would uh, come watch movies and then get more ideas about how we actually have to, how we can actually take movies and also I would say I would go for uh, movies. Generally when we see all around, like uh, in a package, everybody feels that uh, Ify is also a, a glamour that uh, big celebrities coming uh, to the but according to me now for in goa for us in goa celebrities are uh, we see them they keep on coming to goa very often but as far as if he is concerned it has little quotient but with bad films and uh, uh, celebrity coming the if it won't be uh, becoming successful so you need to have a good films. According to me, I think what people are saying that this time there are not much good films. You know, that's sad. Because we are missing an opportunity on that. But good films is a criteria for a successful uh, festival. With a little dash of uh, uh, celebrity coming. But it cannot be vice versa. Sorry, that's <laughs> that's what I feel. Through movies, this uh, international film festival uh, it makes it gives glamour. Uh, it gives uh, glamour because uh, different uh, languages and our different movies pop up. Meta, bhaiye directors, ani tanchik ideas, tanchi views. Our movie movie plan meta, shikpa meta. And that too, plan our nove nove kalakar, jagoiche kalakar. That anka. Red carpet hai, okay, act, people from Goa come, uh, get to see uh, actors walking on red carpet and all, but I feel movie uh, makes glamour. Actors are just a little bit, but I think it's a little bit movies pop up. Because in the movies, we have a lot of shikpaks, different kind of pop up. It's not just Hindi, it's international films pop up. It's different kind of pop up. It's a little bit of Indian pop up. It's a little bit of different kind of pop up. It's a little bit of shikpaks. It's a little bit of a lot of people. It's a lot of people in the church. It's a lot of people in the church. And that's why they are actors, they are actors, they are actors, but they are not all of them. As a filmmaker, I can say that the content of the film festival is very important. And I'm, as a delegate, I can say I want to like, watch those films from outside of India and from small states are there who are in, into the filmmaking and they make very good films there and for that I'm, I'm only here only and which we can't see in YouTube or DVDs we can't buy from any market and like that and that's the film festival can bring that film and we can watch this film in this first watch festivals. Majamatan film festival manje थिएटरान जो मूवीज चलता है, जो पड़ोपा खीर पैसुन पैसुन वेगे वेगे लोग ये ज्या फिल्म कला दिष्टी पड़ता ती कला बरे तरेन हंगा दाखोप मजे मजे कतान 
फिल्म फेस्टिवल पुनबर हाँ अशे मन कि जशे एक गणपति की मुहूर्त दौरली मटकर जाएना ती आरास कर पड़ा ते भोवतनी देखा कर पड़ा तक माटो बनची पड़ा मुखार रंगो घ पड़ा तश्यो अन्य सग गोष्टी भी तक सोबा हाड़पा खीर गरजे आसा पुण फिल्म फेस्टिवल हाजो एग्जेक्ट अर्थ जर विचार जैर हंगा दाखयतले वेगवेगे कलात्मक चित्रपट होच मे फिल्म फेस्टिवल Original filmmakers expressed concern over making such films as the task was tougher. Nyanesh Moge, director of Kokni film Digant, while interacting with media, said that original movies do not reach to wider audiences. Dr. Bijo of Malayalam film and Sunanda Bhatt, whose movies also featured at the 4030P, gave way to their feelings. Omkar Falare reports. I'm director of uh, film Digant, Kokni film, uh, which is a Goan production. it talks about uh, concepts like uh, ambition uh, career uh, uh, stability uh, freedom so all these concepts which are which are uh, uh, post industrial revolution kind of concepts it deals uh, uh, this about these concepts uh, though i have used dhangar community as a backdrop of my film it really doesn't speak about their lifestyles and all but uh, it 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 is a struggle between two values of two kinds uh, agrarian society versus um, versus urban society so basically it is a conflict between these two kinds of uh, two values i am not to be jew director of malayalam film agasha pinnaram This is a shot in uh, a, a remote island, uh, which is at a uh, Andaman Island. Um, it's uh, uh, from Port Blair. There is a three-hour journey, uh, ship journey from this Port Blair, and it is a remote place. And uh, the full movies happened in this uh, uh, lonely island, and uh, hardly four characters are there. So this is uh, um, after the premiere of the movie was in Shanghai in competition, and uh, after some festivals here. The, uh, in every year, the twenty movies. which means this 20 movies are from different regions of india it is the best of that year so the that movies need support and promotion uh, it's a metaphor for things which are changing the things that we are losing in the landscape not only in the landscape but also in the lifestyle uh, so uh, the film uses the narrative form of cinema to tell the story not only the story of the people who are involved in these changing landscapes but also an understanding it captures an understanding of past ideas of a landscape through a myth uh so you know you really have to watch the film to understand the complexity and uh, the layers that it um, <coughs> deals with uh i have worked on it for 6 years the reason for working on it for 6 years was to develop a, a form of storytelling um which can actually re represent the all the layers that you see in any landscape in india yeah. when you go to watch any film suppose in inox any multiplexes so even with this intention if i go there to watch uh, okay i'll go and watch kokni bhu to, today but when i go there i see what's the chakachak movies and then i tend to buy a ticket for shahrukh khan yeah. shahrukh khan that happens but uh, and and uh, plus our problem is uh, dif uh, different also Uh, we are very limited people, fourteen lakhs, and uh, then again it is divided into Christian viewers and Hindu viewers like Tiyath. That again uh, 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 split is there. Yeah.